Hello. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the part 7 of our beginner's guide for Windows Server Active Directory. Let's see what we have covered so far. We have covered flexible single master operation roles. We have covered schema master and we have also covered the domain naming master role. So in today's part number 7 we are going to look at the next fsm role that is rid master so before diving into rid master let us look at what a domain controller is so any computer on which active directory database is present can be called as a domain controller or any computer on which active directory domain services are installed and configured can be called as a domain controller so here we have two computers or let's say two servers sydney dc and paris dc so we can call them as domain controllers because they hosts active directory database and in the infrastructure we have other servers and other computers as well let's say we have database servers web servers file servers we have say workstations laptops desktops we cannot call them as domain controllers because they don't host active directory database so there is a clear distinction between a domain controller and member computers so we have understood the five roles so let me just walk you through all the five roles again schema master domain naming master rid master infrastructure master and pdc emulator so in our last sessions we have covered schema master and we have also covered the domain naming master today we are going to look at the next fsm role and that is rid master so let's dive in so this rid master is a domain wide role it means only one domain controller in the domain is designated as rid master so the functions of domain naming master so domain naming master is responsible to allocate pool of rids to all the domain controllers in the domain in sequence so this pool this pool of rids mean nothing but chunk of numbers okay he will allocate say 500 numbers to every domain controller in sequence so that's the only function of rid master and the whole idea behind the the rid master mechanism is to avoid creation of duplicate objects in active directory domain so we are going to look at the function and we are going to look at how this mechanism avoids creation of duplicate objects in active directory domain so say let us understand this rid master in detail with an example with a real life example so you might have seen say such pictures this is a family tree okay and uh, it also resembles with our active directory domain and every member in this particular family is unique okay there is no similarity at all it's absolutely unique it's identical so let's say draw an analogy from the real life to active directory so let us list down some of our relatives in the real world so mother father brothers sisters uncles cousins etc these are all our relatives so in the real world there are some say ways or mechanism to identify our relatives so how do we identify our relatives let's say with the help of the last name or name of the village or there can be some other mechanism but there is a mechanism to identify our relatives in the real world so uh, we call this as a family tree man okay we call this as our family tree our relatives say 
brothers, sisters, uncles, we call this as entire tree, family tree. So active directory domain is just like a real life family tree. Objects in the same active directory domain are relatives of one another. So how objects are identified in the world of active directory then? Okay, we have to understand this mechanism. So here comes our RID master in picture. So RID master is that mechanism which helps in identifying the objects in active directory. Let's dive into this mechanism now. So before say diving into RID master mechanism, we must understand, we must have some basic say understanding of say technology. So everything in the world of technology is identified by a number and not by name. We have to make this we have to make this very clear that everything in the world of technology is identified by a number and not by the name. For example, a network device is identified by a number known as an IP address and not by its name. For example, web server 01 it's not identified by this web server 01 name. Instead, it is identified by a number associated with it 10.108.78.215. So every domain and objects in every domain are identified by numbers and not by names. So a domain is identified by a number called as domain SID and an objects objects in the domain are identified by numbers called as object SIDs or object SID. So we have two numbers over here domain SID for domain identification and object SID for objects identification in the domain. So what is this domain SID and object SID all about? Let's have a look at it. So before going say ahead, let me just have a recap of the functions of RID master. So the function of RID master is to allocate pool of RIDs to all the domain controllers in its domain in sequence. Now this pool is in the C a chunk or portion of 500. So we'll understand say this statement in detail in our next slide. So this pool is just a chunk of numbers. Okay, there's nothing rocket science, just a chunk of numbers over here. And RID stands for relative identifier. That's RID. So let's see how this mechanism works in the world of Active Directory now. So we have a domain named contoso.com. And as you know that this domain is not identified by the name contoso.com. It is identified by a number associated with it. And the domain SID for this domain is S-1-23-945. So this domain will not be associated, say will be associated with this number and it will be identified by this number and not by name. And we have five uh, domain controllers in this domain contoso.com. We have Sydney DC, Paris DC, Boston DC, Hong Kong DC, and we have Dubai DC. And our Sydney DC is our RID master in contoso.com domain. So there is only single RID master in the domain. So it's a domain wide rule. So the function of RID master is to allocate pool of RIDs or chunk of numbers in sequence. Okay, and the chunk is in 500. So let's say he allocated 3001 to 3500, 500 say RIDs to Boston DC. So he allocated 3501, the next chunk of 500 RIDs that is 3501 to 4000 to Dubai DC. So the RID master allocated the next 500 that is 4001 to 4500 to Hong Kong DC. 
and he allocated 4501 to 5000 to Paris DC and he himself is a domain controller so he kept 1000 to 500 500 RIDs with him so his job is over over here his job is to allocate pool of RIDs to all the domain controllers in its domain that too in the number is in 500 chunk and that too in sequence now the real story begins over here so let's say we created a user named Peter on Boston DC so let's see how a user is created in Active Directory now so as soon as we create a user a user on Boston DC the domain SID is pulled and Boston DC will add one RID from his pool that is 3001 and the entire number will become object SID so Peter will be identified by object SID now it will be somewhat like this so this is our domain SID and the RID from his pool will be added and the entire number S hyphen one hyphen two three hyphen nine four five hyphen three zero zero one this entire number is the object SID for the username or the object Peter so from here onwards Peter will be identified by this object SID and not by his name okay so Peter will not be identified by his name but by the associated object SID so see how it works let's say tomorrow Peter comes in and says uh, my spelling is not P-E-T-E-R but it's P-I-E-T-E-R it's misspelled in our active directory so what an administrator will do we will simply rename it to P-I-E-T-E-R but it will not change the object SID beneath okay the object SID will be the same and all the permissions Peter has will not change because the permissions are binded or tagged to the object SID and not to the name so this is one of the advantages of say using a name so how an object is unique let's see how this RID master mechanism makes sure that every object is unique so let's say we created an object on Paris DC so the object SID changes over there so whenever we create any object on any domain controller no two object SIDs will be same in the entire domain because the RID master has distributed or allocated different set of RIDs to every domain controller in the entire domain if you see over here Dubai DC will have a completely different set of RIDs so objects created on Dubai say DC will have complete ident different object sets so this helps in say creating unique objects in active directory so let's summarize what we have covered so far so we have understood the functions of rid master we have understood how an object is created in active directory we have understood how an object is identified in active directory and we have also understood how RID mechanism avoids creation of duplicate objects in Active Directory domain. So this was end of part 7. Hope you have enjoyed today's session and understood RID master. In our part 8, we'll be taking a look at the next FSM role that is infrastructure master. And thank you again for joining. If you think this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please subscribe and share this channel with your technical community. Thank you again and have a great day.